Thank you. Right now, we are in Bradenton, Florida. There are people here from all over the world. Football players, soccer players, Olympic sports. Those look like baseball players just finishing up their day. Here to specialize on their sport, on the physical, on the mental. You have to always work on your craft and get better. And this is the place, IMG Academy. This is the check-in for Lincoln's summer camp. And to be fully transparent, we've actually been here for a few days. And after watching what Lincoln has been doing, I thought, we have to show everybody what this place is all about because I don't think there's anywhere in the world that is as good of a camp as this place. Yeah. Every day I have a one-on-one -on -one session. Whoa, there's a lot of bays in here and clubs everywhere. On Friday, I'm gonna be in here on with the, the putter, so he's gonna be coaching me on that. And then this is actually really cool. This measures where your weight is. And they have everything. They've got a track man like we have in our house but then cameras that film your swing, a ton of driver heads, three wood heads, everything in here so that they can yep. do fittings. Everything is turned off right now, but there's a lot of training tools and a lot of things inside of here. This is where they store all the golf, golf clubs. They lock it up at night when nobody's here, obviously, but there is a lot of clubs in there. It's kind of so. nice to be able to store your clubs in here yeah. and not have to carry them back to your dorm. I just love my shoes here too. I was on manual focus that entire time. This is the range, uh, really great range. A lot of really good targets, like especially these ones that you can see the, the little metal IMG ones. Those ones are really fun because if you hit them, they're very loud. This is a really, really good range. And during the time of the summer camp, you're not allowed to go on the grass because they want to save it for when the school starts back in session and all the year round students have grass to hit on. So we typically just hit off the mats, but What's really nice about this part of the range is that it's all covered, which is awesome because it is so hot here right now. Like it, it's probably like what, like 95, but the humidity here, never sweat more in my life the last couple of days. Somehow Lincoln stays out here all day, every day. Now, if you come to a camp in the off season, there's six months where the weather is perfect here in Florida. And then also the springtime is really nice. We just happened to come right during the hottest time of the year because it worked out. But even then, it's still really nice to be able to come out here and hone in your game all day, every day with a lot of other people here. So fancy. Yeah. Whoa, that was a fancy. Do that tricky move again. Did they teach you that here? They did not. Wow. <laughs> so this is the front of the range that's all covered, but there also is the back of the range and that's where I was most of the day today. So this is definitely my favorite part about these practice facilities is these two chipping greens. They are so good. They have so many pins, so much slope and elevation change. And something that we don't really have in Utah very much is these elevated greens. And it's really tough if you miss the green, just barely, your ball will roll all the way down to the bottom and then you'll have a tough chip going up the hill. Can he stick it close? It's not easy. Unless your name's Lincoln. And then it's super it's easy. Good shot. Look at that, first try. That is real sweat on my face. That's what you get when you're in Florida. Um, it's really funny in YouTube videos because I'll go back and watch videos and it's hard to tell really what the humidity and the heat was like. And it's like that in golf tournaments too. You watch them on TV and you're like, why are they sweating so much? Why are they struggling? Well, because it's hot and it's humid. <laughs> hey buddy! Because I like watching you be a big boy and do it yourself. I don't think I've ever seen this big of a grasshopper in my life. Look down. Whoa. Look at that Huge. thing. Florida um, has some weird animals. There's so many animals that are insects, but we call them animals because they're so ginormous. Look at the size of that. It's hard to tell. This is where Lincoln spends most of his time as a golfer, both indoors and outdoors. But he also goes and works out and they do physical training 
core strengthening, mental strengthening, and that's at a different building that I gotta show you next. Access granted. One of the great things about IMG Academy is they are sponsored by Gatorade. And it isn't just that you get free drinks everywhere that you're at with Gatorade, but they also have the Gatorade Sports Science Institute. When Lincoln was here five years ago, hey buddy, go hang out with your friends at the driving range. I'll miss you. Goodbye. <laughs> His teacher told him about Rory McIlroy and supposedly he had come here a while ago and what they found is that on hole 15, his nutrition wasn't sufficient for his athletic needs. Golf is a long sport, you're out there for hours, it's also a very mental sport. And if you get fatigued and tired and mentally tired because your body doesn't have the nutrition that it needs, that's the point where you could miss hit a shot or miss a putt and that could be the difference between winning and losing a tournament. They came up with a nutrition plan for during his round for what he drinks, what he eats, what he snacks on throughout the entire round so that that mental and physical fatigue hopefully doesn't hit as hard and he can perform at his peak performance. That's something that they work in for the students and the campers that come here. They help identify what you need for your peak performance. Every day there's all kinds of one-on-one -on -one lessons and different things that Lincoln goes and does. But just to give you an example, this one is called Mind Gym. When you're not playing your best, right? When things aren't going your way, and even if it's not your swing, if it's whatever it is, you're frustrated out there. Do you feel like you get probably more upset when you play, like when you're not playing well? So what I want you to do, I'm gonna give you a few different post-it notes, and I want you to think about thoughts that you have when you're not playing your best golf. All right. Good, okay, now what I'm gonna do. At the same time, I'll come Same home. time, ready? There you go, your quick hands, that's all right. There you go, eyes in the middle. Good job. This is all growth right here, man. Yep, good. Good job. Let's go. 37, 38, 39. 40, 40, 41, 42. And they're gonna pop up pretty quick. Okay, as they change colors, that's a warning for you to recognize. Yep. A lot of the things that he did were really interesting tasks, but at the end of the day, all of it was to kind of help him to focus on the things that you can control and all the other stuff, don't worry about it. Just focus on what's important and don't have those negative thoughts come in. And the person that helped us there, the teacher, the coach, super smart psychology major from University of Tennessee. He knows what he's talking about and it was incredibly helpful. So awesome class. I wish it was like five hours long, but it was fun to sit and watch Lincoln. I wasn't here most of the week. It was just yep. Lincoln doing his camp. His golf shoes, Never he wore a anymore. hole in the bottom, the inside of his shoes, wore a hole in them. And I think it has to do something with the heat and the humidity, but yeah. he hasn't even been able to wear golf shoes the last two days because it hurts his foot so much. And these are foot joy shoes that he wears that are some of the best in golf. This humidity does something to you. It really does. I went back and watched some of our older videos, which you guys can do, we'll link them in the description. And it was also kind of a little bit sad realizing that days of summer camp are coming to an end. He's gonna be a junior in high school this year and then probably won't go to a camp next summer because that's the last summer before your senior year and it's been fun to see the growth from being a little guy to today. So now that camp is over, one week of camp, Orlando is only two hours away, we're gonna go up and go to Disney or Universal and spend one really, really fun day. So there's Lincoln's summer golf camp, and yes, that means for all of you that are school age, school is actually coming because summer is almost over, so get ready for school, summer's over.